Hey guys, today we're checking out our top five acoustic guitars of 2022. Hey guys, my name is Guillaume. And my name is Chris. Welcome to Thomas Guitars and Basses. This is that time of the year. We're doing our top five, top three, depending on the subject <laughs> yeah. of the year. Of the year. <laughs> Insert instrument type of the year. Yes. This is our acoustic guitar top five, which let's be honest, is more of a top four acoustics plus top one, ac uh, one computer. computer. Oh yeah. When we're selecting the instruments for our top five videos, we Consider a number number of factors really. First of all, obviously top sellers, something that you know you guys love, um, something that's been hyped or like something that's really interesting for us guitar players. And uh, obviously the third factor is if one of us or both of us really like that piece of new gear, because that's the only thing that they all have in common. They had to be released in this year, 2022. Yes. Which is the case for this one, and this one is a bit of a bit of both. It's definitely a top seller. Um, and it's one of my favorites as well. And because I don't know if you remember, a few months ago I had a guitar in the office, like on a stand, yeah. I had an acoustic guitar. That was that one. With this, because um, I played it in the shop and I was like, this is the perfect guitar to have in the office and just you know when I'm working. And <laughs> no, but you know, waiting on upload times or just yeah, waiting for yeah. an answer, or like anything. so. And that was that guitar. It has the sexiest name in the world. It's a Harley Benton CLP12SMBRS Solid Top. Seriously? Uh, CLP means cute little parlor. <laughs> I, I assume. I assume. <laughs> cute little parlor. Cute little parlor guitar. This is part of the Solid Top series. So obviously, it has a solid top. It is made out of tree wood. Uh, it's got no, but it's got the nicest satin neck, and I love that shape of guitar. Yeah. Like you, you've got like a, just... an actual bone saddle, bone nut, uh, the solid top, and just yeah, it's to me like that's the perfect guitar to just have around. Yeah, and that's and yeah, and this one's a top seller because obviously Harley Benton affordable. A lot of you guys bought that guitar for good reason. It sounds awesome. It plays really great, uh, and. Yeah, I just I just really really dig that guitar. And if you're doing like a little bit of a bluegrassy backcountry uh, type of thing, this is this this is your guitar. This is your guitar. Nice. Yeah, so obviously it does the like the, the kind of thin sounding, you know, country uh, picking thing, but like it still has like a lot to give on the like the big chords as well. And, Absolutely. Like because that's always people say, oh yeah, parlors, parlors. As soon as you're in a band, or as soon as you're with other instruments, and yeah, that's true. They won't pop out of the mix as well as like a full drum yeah. And if you're strumming, it's not the ideal guitar for that. But if it's just like a small guitar for you to sit on the couch and play with, or just like sing along to, those are amazing, and I love them, and I love this one. And since uh, this one also has a pickup, or if an acoustic guitar has a pickup, size of the body doesn't really matter. It's That's just the, the way it shapes the tone of the yeah. the, uh, the notes. Oh and, yeah, it um, also got a, a cool cool preamp with like a tuner, phase inverter, yeah, a little yeah. bit of an EQ and volume if you're going with the the uh, the pickup, which we're not doing today unless it's got like an interesting thing to it. We're just going to use the mics. If we have different sound samples and things that we need the DI for, we'll use it and we'll let you guys know. What the? What is that? Is that? What is this? <laughs> this is the Lava Me. Is it also uh, a partner? It's uh, it's m as much of a computer as uh, a guitar, <laughs> really. Um, I can show you the uh, 
Wait, wait, wait. Do you want a, a, a guitar-shaped iPhone? This. Satisfying feel? Satisfying feel? Are we, are we focused on this? <laughs> oh, beautiful. Feels almost as good as on a laptop. So, uh, I guess, yeah, there you go. This is an onboard, wait, let me angle it in a way that you can actually see something. An onboard computer, really, with a speaker, and you can use it for multiple things. You can use it for backing tracks, you can use it as a looper, as a drum machine, you can use it as a tuner, obviously. You can just tap here, and then it shows you that you're somewhat in tune. <laughs> and uh, you have metronome built in, you have all kinds of apps here where you can access everything. There are practice uh, routines and lessons and everything. There's a tuner, I stole the metronome. You can record your song ideas, which is definitely my favorite feature here mm. because that's what happens. You start strumming, start playing, and then all of a sudden you have something and you will totally forget that if you don't record it immediately. Yeah. Uh, there are some effects, uh, some uh, crazy octave, whatever delay, reverb, uh, whatever you want, chorus, everything that fits um, like an acoustic guitar and some other stuff. You can upload your music pictures. Don't ask me why. You can change would you the wallpaper. Hey, yeah, again, you're here. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and it really feels like a certain it does uh, product <laughs> that you use to f call people. Um, yeah, so the visuals are not shockingly new, uh, but yeah, they're really nice features built in if you're into that high techy kind of stuff. You know, it's it's a, a taste thing. Apparently, a lot of you guys are into this because. A lot of you bought the the love of me. So this yeah. was one of those guitars in in this top five. Where we're like, okay, we have to. That was extra hyped as well. Like there were so many videos on, about that guitar when it came out. Uh, as you said, it's a taste thing, and you have you if you're either like rootsy, you know, I want my acoustic guitar to just be an acoustic. I don't even want the pickup system in there because yeah. I don't care for them. Yeah. It's like yeah, fair enough. And with those, like, it's it's a different sort of inspiration that you get from them. Just yeah. like messing around with some effects and some loops and some this and that. And yeah, it's just a really cool guitar. And also, premium unboxing experience. Oh, I gotta yeah. say, like, I unboxed the guitar yesterday and I was like, damn. Like, <laughs> yeah. I feel, I feel it's fancy. Different. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you get good quality tuners. You get every, everything feels right. It's yeah. just probably, you know, nothing wood on this, nothing traditional on this, but it just feels like a very well made piece of like item, yeah. you know, and it happens to be an instrument and it sounds very warm. Uh, I just play it. And that brings us to guitar number three, which is the Epiphone uh, J45 slash, yeah, that's the whole name actually, J45 slash uh, signature model. Uh, those came out this year inspired by last year's models of Gibson, acoustic and electric guitars that came out in the uh, slash range. Obviously immensely popular because slash. Because reasons. Um, yeah, so those are the, uh, the Epiphone uh, variations of those. Made in Indonesia, uh, solid guitars. Uh, you've got the, uh, the, the acoustic preamp as well. It comes with a sound hole cover, which is really cool if you're gigging with those and you're facing monitors and you're getting all the feedback issues that yeah. there are to, to be had with acoustics. Uh, it's really cool. It's nice. It's very much live focused guitar. Yeah, so. absolutely. Oh yeah, true. It's here. Yeah, my bad. Here's the uh, the sound hole cover, the sound cover. Uh, which you can sort of dial in as well. You can get some resonance and if you turn yeah. the back, you can open and close it. Yeah. Uh, that's really cool that it just comes with the guitar. 
A um, couple of things that I'm not quite sure I got was why the, the it's a V-neck. Yeah. It's a V-neck. And I, okay, is that standard actually on J45s? Like maybe nope. some years? Like the one specific year that Slash got his original one that was a V-neck. But it's weird because the Gibson slash J45 model, and yeah. those have the nice, you know, like big 58 C, yeah, yeah. C next. For sure. So it's just a different take. Yeah. It's a J45. It's the Sound of Ages. This is the affordable version of the Sound of Ages. <laughs> and yeah, I mean, countless records were recorded on the J45 sort of platform. Whether we're talking about these uh, Epiphone or Gibson, it's a super uh, famous kind of nice strumming yes. guitar shape. And if you're playing in a band, if you're playing alone, if you're like, that will do it all. So yeah, and this one does it with Slash's approval. Plus a pickup. Plus a pickup, so go for it. Go for it. I don't have a pickup built in this one. No? I don't have a lot of things built in this one. And still, I think it's my favorite out of this bunch. Yeah. It's just sweet. It's the uh, Jim Dandy. Jim Dandy. Uh, the G9500 or OO yeah, or whatever. Know. Yeah, th those four numbers. Yeah. Uh, the Gretsch. Uh, basic model. It's like a Roots model. Yeah. And uh, it is what it is. It's a tiny little thing, laminated wood, not very expensive. The old school headstock is just so I cool. I absolutely love this and everything about it pretty much. It's uh, sad and finished, it's so paley. It's just very simple. Yeah. And it sounds so sweet and, and it's just fun to play. <laughs> It just sounds small and sweet and not really, like, I don't take this sound very seriously and that makes me really happy about playing the guitar, if you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, like somehow, it makes me yeah. want to just, you know, just enjoy the ride instead of yeah. focusing on details and be like, oh my god, is this, uh, yeah. Uh, Paolo and Double O are just like, just, the guitars are meant to be played and like, yeah, enjoy it. Yeah. yeah, enjoy it. And it's a different kind of fun than when yeah. you're trying to pick out all the frequencies and yeah. uh, find your place in a mix and that kind of thing. Exactly. Like, no, no, yeah. just take that, sing into an old radio and you're yeah. good to go. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> that's the kind of vibe. Really nice. I mean, it strums well. It sounds yeah. really pretty and, and kind of rich for its size because sure. it's also very shallow. Like, it's not like, uh, yeah. it's not like it has a deep body like a parlor mm. would have, like the, the Harley yeah. there. Yeah, bit of has a deeper body. a way body, deeper yeah, body sure. as well. Uh, this is just a really compact little thing and uh, still.
the Fender Acoustic Sonic. This is the Made in Mexico version that came out this year. Uh, one of the main complaints, I, I, I'd say, when the Acoustic Sonics came out was that they were all US made in Corona. And uh, yeah, price point was consequent. Then again, there are really well made guitars, like custom shop grade instruments yeah, yeah. with necks to dream for, to dream of, to die for, about. to die about. <laughs> to for. Yes. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, uh, Fender and a very, very smart decision brought out the uh, Mexican counterpart, Mexican made counterpart to those guitars. And this is what that is. Essentially, uh, the, the choice of woods, the way the guitars are built, the honestly attention to detail as well, like the recessed plates, the everything is just spot on. You're missing a few appointments, uh, such as no, the really. five-way switch yeah. that turned into a three-way switch, so you only get six different sounds instead of ten. Uh, and that's about it. <laughs> that's yeah, about it. Nice. You got different like colors yeah. and that kind of thing. And no, no, no. Uh, also, I, was it not like these? These have a rosewood fretboard, and the Americans have ebony. Yeah, I something think. like that. Yeah, there were a couple of different like wood appointments but for those honestly, models. If you want the full list, obviously check out the link in description. This one will be listed as well as uh, some of the other uh, Acoustic Sonic uh, made in Mexico. And yeah, it's it's awesome. They're awesome. Whether you you've tried them or not, I really recommend that you do because as like do it all kind of stage instruments, they're just incredible. Yeah. Uh, you plug one cable and it is legitimately the most realistic and the most pleasant uh, DI sound out of an acoustic guitar that I've heard. Yeah. Yeah. Fender, Acoustasonic, made in Mexico, really good guitars. Uh, Which is your favorite out of the five? Uh, yeah. <laughs> The Harley Benton. Okay. I mean, fair enough. Okay, if fair I enough. had to, if I had to use one uh, on stage, that'd be this one. Yeah. No question yeah. asked. Like nothing. I'm not gigging. I'm not playing acoustic live. And if I do, it's very small rooms. Yeah. I don't need the the, the pickup. And I'll stuff. just, yeah. I'll just, I'll yeah. just play that because yeah. that's so enjoyable. It's a little bit fuller sounding than the Gretsch because yeah. of the yeah. body size, obviously. Yeah. And it's just so fun to play. Like yeah. I really like that. I, I picked it up uh, before we started the video. I was like. Is, what is yeah. this? That? Okay. It's really cool. How? Yeah, it's really nice, really nice for sure. Uh, only because of the, the fun factor, yeah. I think I'd go for the Gretsch. Yeah. Uh, you know, this is the more adult, like an actual acoustic guitar, <laughs> big size, big sound, uh, proper pickup, etc. I still feel like that little Jim Danny is just so it's fun. sweet. I want to have that on my couch every day. That, that would inspire <laughs> me to just, you know, throw myself to the back and just mm -hmm. grab the guitar and just, mm -hmm. you know, fool around with it without taking myself too seriously, which is something that keeps you playing yeah. way more every For day. Sure. That's, that's definitely cool. All righty, let us know in the comments below what are your favorite acoustic guitars that came out this year? Was that guitar on, on the this list, list? Uh, yeah. and, or not even? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell. And make sure to check out all the other top five, top three guitar and bass videos that yes. we have on the channel. You guys take it easy. Bye. Bye-bye.